Zach Morris is trash. Lisa says famous actor Johnny Dakota is coming to Bayside. Zach tells her to relax before she cracks her makeup, then laughs at his own joke. Zach mistakenly thinks Johnny is dying to meet him. Johnny politely looks past Zach's hubris and asks where the principal's office is. Zach offers no assistance. Jesse says it's that way, and Zach makes more unwanted contact and close talking with this rich stranger. Zach escorts Johnny 12 feet down the hall and introduces Principal Belding to his new best friend. Johnny ignores how gross Zach is being and says he wants to tape an anti-drug PSA in a high school and they're considering Bayside. Zach realizes he can exploit his proximity to a movie star for access to babes. Johnny's undecided after a tour, but Zach prepared a little something to help make up his mind. Here we go. We're being tattoos and we're no fools. We don't use drugs, this is just not cool. Yikes. Johnny lies and says that was great to make sure they never do Zach's rap ever again. Kelly's got Johnny Dakota fever. Zach says they're best buds and he's happy to make the intro. Zach presents her as an offering to entice Johnny to film there, and it works, because she's Kelly goddamn Kapowski. And while Johnny is showing Kelly the attention she deserves, Zach is skipping class to sell stolen doorknobs Johnny touched and stolen sunglasses Johnny wore. Mr. Belding busts Zach's hallway hustle. Johnny, in a very chill move, tells Belding he gave Zach permission to sell this stuff as long as he donates the proceeds to an anti-drug charity. Johnny gives Zach the clothes off his back to see how much money he can raise. Zach says he's keeping this fly purple shit for himself. Zach notices it smells like pot in the bathroom and finds a roach on the floor. He says if Johnny discovers there's a stony baloney ganja fiend in their mist, it could blow his plan to meet babes. Johnny walks in and Zach swears he doesn't do this stuff. Johnny says he'd love to have an authentic narc in his ad and gets rid of the devil's lettuce with a very cool kick flush reverse spin to double finger gun maneuver. Johnny asks a room full of teens what they think about drugs. Jesse mentions the time she got hooked on caffeine pills because of Zach. Scud goes to pick up his girlfriend, but he's early, so he says he's going to the bathroom. The same bathroom where the fellas saw him when they found that roach. Mark Morris announces, I think we found our pothead. Sheriff Zack and his deputies find Scud smoking a cigarette. Zack illegally detains and interrogates a clearly innocent student, then insults his intelligence just to feel like a big man. Meanwhile, Kelly is starting a happy new life with Johnny. He's a solid guy, meeting her friends and letting them know about his good intentions to one day hopefully marry her. Zack interrupts to ask Johnny to sign a headshot he can use to bribe Belding. Johnny invites the gang to a party at his house, and Zack finally gains access to the babes he sensed to be nearby. Two groupies test Johnny's love for Kelly. He politely says hello, then alley-oops them to his new co-star, Zach. What a G. Slater wants Zach to introduce him to his new friends. Zach learns nothing from Johnny's playbook of being a G and says Slater is his driver, then tells him to shoot. Johnny lets Screech borrow his clothes after he had a spill, and Johnny's threads are helping Screech meet a lady. It's like Johnny has homie superpowers. Screech falls off the couch and needs urgent assistance for his back, which is in bad shape after years of carrying out Zach's schemes. Slater, Jesse, and Lisa all volunteer to leave the party and help. Zach says he'll throw him in a car, but he's coming right back to rage. Johnny is smooching Kelly, living the dream, when a friend hands him a joint. Johnny hits that shit one time, then passes it on the left-hand side to Kel. Kelly's thinking of trying this scary stuff that makes you giggle when Zach returns. He wants to know what the hell is going on here. Johnny kindly offers Zach some ooh-wee. Zach shames him for smoking doge in his home during a party, then tells Kelly they're leaving this den of sin. Johnny shows up the next day, on time and camera ready to shoot the PSA total pro, and holds no ill will about Zack disrespecting him in his home. Zack says he can't do the ad, and Johnny tells him to relax, because it's just that sticky green ill shit. He tries to make peace, and Zack, who has been touching him way too much since he arrived, slaps his hand away, then says he was wrong, thinking Johnny's cool, which could not be further from the truth, and that he's not Johnny's friend, which has been true this whole time, a fact he neglected to acknowledge when he was using his celebrity to sell doorknobs just one day ago. Zack narks to his friends about Johnny and stages a walkout with a full crew ready to roll. Then Zack narks to Belding, and Belding narks to this guy. Hi, I'm Brandon Tartikoff, chairman of NBC Entertainment. Turns out Belding knows the chairman of NBC, and when he's not greenlighting shows about a blonde sociopath terrorizing a high school, he likes to appear in bad PSAs that lie to children about marijuana with words that could better describe Zack. Dumb. Stupid. Crazy. Dangerous. Stinks. Zack gives himself more lines than any of his friends, crowning himself new Johnny. Let's review. Zach Morris aggressively forced his friendship on a movie star looking to do charity work, schemed to use his celebrity to meet women, and when he couldn't win him over with this hip-hop abomination, offered up his ex-girlfriend like a prize, then turned around and stole property from Johnny and the school for financial gain. And even though Johnny was being way cooler than he needed to be, at every imaginable opportunity, even welcoming everyone into his home, Zach shames him for taking one hit off a joint at a party in the Hollywood Hills, then rejects the friendship he fabricated, and narked on his now ex-friend to anyone with ears, then shot a new commercial where he made himself the star. Zach Morris is trash. Zach Morris is trash.